Hi, I'm Sean Hessinger, and this is Small Biz in 15, the show where we bring you small business success in 15 minutes or less. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the show. Recently, Small Biz in 15 on location traveled to Austin, Texas for Zoho Day 2022 and spoke with Zoho product manager Naresh Kumar about the importance of heat maps and Zoho marketing automation for your business. What is a heat map for those who okay. don't know? And how is it applicable to a small business and what they're doing? Uh, very good question. So uh, heat maps are basically a visual representation of how your uh, visitors behave in your website. Uh, so a heat map generates uh, the various places in which the user has clicked. Uh, so that there are different components of heat maps, right? So heat map is one thing, scroll map is another thing, attention map is another thing. So the heat map gives you the various uh, places where the user has clicked. It gives a number of clicks on that particular uh, component. Uh, the scroll map gives you the scrolling pattern. How, de uh, how deep the users are scrolling and how many, per excuse me, so how deep the users are scrolling and how many percent of users have uh, gone to that particular page fold. Whereas attention map gives you how long they spent in each and every part of the website. Right? So combining all these three, so for example, I'll give you an example, right? So you have a primary CTA at one part of the page or you have a very good video which you want the users to see on the second fold or the third fold of the website but there are not many people who scroll down to see that particular uh, heat uh, cta or the video heat map will give you that information right how many people have scrolled down to that particular part of the website how many how much time did they spend on that particular video or the uh, or the content with with that CTA and how many people clicked on that. So all these information is given by the heat map. So when you collate all these informations together, right, you will get, say for example, only 50% of the visitors have scrolled to that particular point of the page and only 10% of the visitors have clicked it. You ideally lose 50% of the users per scroll and the remaining 90% of users never clicked on that particular page. So you kind of so what you get an inference out of it that's basically the hypothesis you derive so you test that hypothesis next with the help of the a b testing right so for example you take the uh, cta or the video to the top of the page so that 100 percent of the visitors see that and see whether it works out for you or not you do an a b test with the current page and the uh, new page which you uh, derive with the help of the hypothesis see how it performs and it, it's also an iterative process, right? So you have to keep measuring again and again and again till you at, achieve an optimal process. And even after that, the measurement still continues. Um, I, I think you said a website. So a lot of businesses have websites. Are there businesses that heat, heat maps are more helpful for than others? I would imagine e-commerce, for example, might be one. Uh, e-commerce is really a good example. And it's, I think it's a must to have uh, thing for an e-commerce website. But apart from that, in this day and age, any business you take has a website and you need to give your information about your business. You need to give all the required data points in the website and you need to generate leads through your website. So uh, in we are in 2022 and after the pandemic, it's more than in a, uh, ever that you need a website to run a business. So. I think it's required for all the businesses. I would not differentiate saying this is important for e-commerce and this is not important for others uh, because it's required for all the business. A website is required for all the businesses right now. So keeping that in mind, I think heat map would be essential for each and every business out there. It depends on what goal you have for your website and it depends on what measurement you do uh, in your website to see whether if you, your goal is achieved or not. You mentioned heat, uh, heat maps, scroll maps, attention maps. Mm -hmm. Um, how, how do I know when I'm looking for software to do this, how do I know uh, what to look for? How do, how do I know that it's got the features I need to deliver, to deliver what, I'm, what I'm trying to find out? Okay. Uh, so uh, there are, these tools are called conversion rate optimization uh, softwares in the, in the, in the market. Uh, there are quite a few players who offer these uh, services. So Zoho PageSense is one, of such, one such product which uh, offers all these uh, features in the product. As I said, there are multiple other products as well. So it depends on what you want to achieve. So uh, what I would recommend is go to the website again. Website is the gateway for everything. Go to the website, uh, see, the, look at the feature pages and see whether uh, what you require is something which that particular software offers. And that's the first thing to start. Then sign up for all these uh, uh, products, see whether it, it, it matches your requirement or not. That's the, that's the only way to go in my opinion. Uh, it, the, one of the main things which I will also uh, look at when I'm uh, evaluating such softwares is how far your page speed is going to be affected 
mm-hmm. when you implement these uh, softwares because you need to have a javascript code uh, to track your visitors in the website and you need to place them in the website to do that so when you do that there is some amount of impact on your tracking code so on your page speed right so that is one more thing which you have to uh, uh, constantly look at uh, when you evaluate such softwares so nourish let's talk about zoho marketing automation um what are kinds of the ways that you can use that platform to to grow your business sure so zoho marketing automation is a complete marketing suite uh, mm-hmm. say for example uh, it covers almost all parts of the funnel so it covers the top of the funnel the middle of the funnel and the bottom of the funnel last bit and uh, to give another perspective zoho marketing automation can be used in terms of if you are using going to use it for a lead you can uh, you use to nurture the lead and then follow up with them so, uh, qualify the lead and mark them as a sales qualified or a marketing qualified lead and pass it on to the sales team you can also use it for a customer in terms of loyalty management and retention so these are the various avenues in which you can use marketing automation for and apart uh, to go into the specifics right so there are different modules which helps you do that so the basic contact module helps you to manage all your contacts in your business and uh, we also have the lead generation module uh, where you can uh, generate leads for your business with the help of sign up forms pop up forms and uh, various other avenues using which you can generate the leads and uh, post that we also have journeys where you can create a uh, customer journey and uh, you can orchestrate them in terms of whether you want to send a follow up email to them or you want to orchestrate the entire uh, say journey for the customer uh, in terms of dynamic journeys where if the user has opened an email send him a different uh, in to a different path if the user has not responded to your email send him to a different pa- different path so that that's what journey does and post that we also have engagement modules where you want to send a stand alone email campaign stand alone sms campaign uh, various engagement mechanisms you will be able to do that so that that's what marketing automation right now is and uh, it helps the entire business as i mentioned before right right if you want to navigate through the entire funnel of your business marketing automation helps you do that so uh, i'm a small business and i'm totally new to automation mm-hmm. uh, my first question is what is a customer journey wonderful so very good question so uh, be it any business right so be it small or large or be it a tech business or a non tech business it it depends you you definitely have a customer it depends on how you reach a customer how you engage with them how you get get things done uh, for them everything matters and end of the day they have to pay for you right so that's the entire customer journey so how you reach them how you generate uh, first thing is how you generate leads second thing is how you reach them third thing is how you engage with them fourth thing is how you nurture them and convert them into a paid customer so this is the entire customer funnel for any business uh, it might be and uh, in or in during the entire process so there is a certain uh, path which the particular uh, uh, contact or a lead takes it uh say for example you'll take the uh, example of an e-commerce business right uh so you have an uh, you have a website uh, you list a set of products you sell and the first thing we want to do is people have to visit your business in order to visit your website even in order to purchase it so the first thing is how do you generate traffic to your website the next part once the uh, uh, visitor comes to your website the next part is see how they navigate through the website if there is any friction point in the website in terms of uh, browsing things or reaching the right uh, product which you sell you have to analyze them you have to analyze the visitor behavior and see how it uh, how they uh, behave in the website after the make them reach the right, uh, right product uh, e-commerce is typically this right product page uh, add, adding to cart checkout page and then successful uh, product purchase so you have to analyze the funnel and whether there is a drop off at any point of time if there is a drop off in a specific step analyze why the drop off is say for example he, he abandons the cart midway you send a cart abandonment emailer for them you can set up an entire journey for that right so in that way you you have various uh, stages of your funnel where each and uh, in each stage of its funnel there is a customer path which is followed and you can you can orchestrate that path for the particular customer in that way the entire journey of the customer you will be able to monitor them you will be able to measure how it per, how how your path per, your journey performs and then if there is any issues with that you will be able to fix that and in turn guide the uh, particular uh, contact towards the entire uh, journey So 
Um, I'm really new to small business. I, I set up a website and basically uh, I have an e-commerce site and it's basically, you know, if somebody gets on and buy something I'm happy yeah. uh, or I'm running something from home and I'm making sales calls and if I get a yes I'm happy and uh, you know my it's very primitive what I'm doing at this point yeah. and I want to I, I, I know I need something more like a marketing automation tool mm -hmm. I, I, but I, it's so overwhelming mm -hmm. where do I start if it's if you're in the so primitive stages of your business uh, it's all about uh, setting things, the configurations and the settings right for your uh, website, your uh, other processes, right? So again, I'll take the e-commerce example because mm -hmm. e-commerce is the uh, uh, vertical which is growing in, uh, sure. all over the world right now. Uh, so you just build your website. Uh, you have traffic coming to your website. So what are the things you can start with, right? So as I mentioned before, cart abandonment email is very easy to set up. That's the first thing you do. Uh, not not the first thing you. That's one of the things you do, right? The first thing you do is uh, track visitors to your website, see the analytics, how how they uh, how uh, they behave in your website, how much time they spend in your website, which page they bounce off. So that gives you a perspective on how your website performs, right? The next thing is if they bounce off at certain pages, you analyze that why they bounce off, where they go, uh, is there anything missing in your website? Fix that. And that's the first thing which you do with, your, with respect to your website. Every, if uh, if you're selling a specific product, you need to give all the information about that product to the customer so that they can, uh, your website does uh, justice for that, right? So you need to measure all these uh, uh, metrics in order to determine whether your website performs well. So uh, if it's an e-commerce uh, business, your website should be right. That's the first and foremost thing you look at. And marketing automation helps you do that in terms of giving you numbers on how the visitors perform, how the visitors behave. Mm. And if it is a B2B SaaS, for example, take Zoho, for example, right? We are a B2B SaaS vendor. If you are just releasing a product and it's new to the market, the first thing we do again is give right content in the website, uh, attract the right uh, set of audience. SEO is very important for any business, right? So uh, the organic growth which we get for our business matters. So make sure the SEO is right for the uh, website, make sure the right web visitors come to the website. And for example, if you take a SaaS business, landing in the website is one thing, but making them sign up for the product is entirely another mm -hmm. thing. So ensure that the entire funnel is tracked, see where the drop-offs are, fix those drop-offs, fix the leaky bucket, so that you have, the, you every, every website has a goal, right? every business has a goal. So ensure that goal is achieved there. And now it's time for our small biz tip in 15 seconds or less. Consider heat maps when trying to figure out how visitors are behaving on your website. Heat maps are just another example of how technology can help your small business run more smoothly. Thanks again to Naresh Kumar, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the show. And please leave a comment and let us know what topics you'd like to see covered on future programs. For more small business news and tips, join us at smallbiztrends.com.